How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about a little bit of a mistake that quite a lot of new players make. At least in my opinion I would say this is a big mistake as it does sort of change your perspective on the game and sort of makes it feel a little bit less rewarding in a lot of aspects. Now what could I be talking about? What exactly could I actually want to talk about that could ruin the game so much? Well today I wanted to talk about buying bonds especially as a lower level player or a new player to the game and selling them for gold. This can cause a few issues for lower level players, which we're going to talk about in this video. But if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like on it. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. And finally, I just want to let you guys know that this is, of course, my opinion. And it's something that I would probably recommend that people don't actually do. And also, of course, take into account what I've said in this video. If you are considering buying bonds as a lower level player. Or for that matter, as someone who maybe is just considering buying them at all. However, don't think that this means that I think that anyone who does buy them is either wasting their money, wasting their time. Or just not doing anything right by any means whatsoever. At the end of the day, it is your money, it is your account, you can do whatever you please with it. It does not affect me, I am not saying, ah, oh, I don't like it when people buy bonds. What I'm saying is, maybe you should just think twice, especially as a low level, before starting to sell bonds for gold, as it can change your gameplay by quite a lot. Quick heads up that this video probably can be minimised, however there will be some stuff on screen now and then if you're interested in that, but if not, if you're playing RuneScape at the moment, or you're doing something else, you will be absolutely fine listening to this video in the background. So after my typical long intro, let's get going. So for the players who don't know just yet, I should probably explain exactly what are bonds. They are basically a token that you can buy from Jagex and they can be sold to other players for in-game currency, which basically introduces a full way to get as much gold as you want, assuming you have the uh, real life cash of course. Now personally, I don't have an issue with anyone who wants to actually buy bonds to give themselves more gold. It doesn't affect my game in any way whatsoever, so I'm not that fussed by it whatsoever, but a lot of people are against it as it is basically pay to win. However, there are a few benefits to the bonds as they were introduced for a couple of reasons which I'll talk about in just a little bit, but other uses for bonds are basically players can buy them from the grand exchange or from other players or from jagex and they can be redeemed for membership which means people can buy membership in this game with in-game currency which is absolutely great you can buy treasure hunter keys with it which to be honest doesn't seem very worth it but if you wanted to buy treasure hunter keys on a promotion you had to get extra keys you could do that by using bonds you can use them to redeem for rune coins which you can use to buy things off of the solomon store which is usually more cosmetic than anything else and then there's usually another few things in the game here and there that you can use it to redeem on things like the yak track you can use that to boost all the way to the end of the yak track and unlock all the cosmetics and stuff pretty much straight away and sometimes jagex will run like charity things where for every bond donated to something then they will actually give some money to charity themselves so all bonds do come from jagex at some point but you can buy them as a player from the grand exchange from trading another player using in-game currency to be able to unlock all that sort of stuff as well so there are some benefits to having bonds in the game one of them the main one is to combat real world trading which is where people will buy gold or items off of the black market usually some website on the internet that will be selling them for real life money however this is something that's a little bit risky it's a little bit shady is there in the past things like credit card details were stolen personal information was stolen and of course the money itself was stolen not to mention of course real world trading is very much against the rules and will get your account banned so jagex did include the bonds into the game to combat real world trading quite a lot and also it does provide a way for people to get membership without having to pay for real life money if you would prefer to pay for it in game currency which is what i do it's not too hard to do once you get to a higher level in the game and in all honesty one bond does equal two weeks of membership which is plenty even as a low level player to be able to make enough money to get that back as well so there are some benefits but the reason this video is to talk to you guys about why you shouldn't, as a low level player, be buying bonds to sell them on the Grand Exchange for gold. At the moment, a bond can be bought from Jagex for around about £3.99 or $6.99 if you're in the US, and they can be sold on the Grand Exchange for about 33 mil. This price does change by quite a lot on the in-game value, as it depends what's happening in-game. If there's a promotion happening and bonds are being used up quite a lot, then the price does tend to go up. And at the moment, I'd say 33 mil is on the high end. Usually, from my experience, they sit around about 25 to 26 mil each, which of course gives the opportunity for you to buy these bonds and sell them for currency. But why shouldn't you do this? I've seen time and time again, people who have been new to the game and they've been working on stuff, they've been leveling up their skills and they've noticed that they could use just a little bit of extra cash to be able to work on stuff. Now, the main issue with this is the feeling that you're going to lose of when you actually achieve stuff in the game and you're proud of your account. You are actually proud of the time you've invested into it and it makes you want to stay because you've put effort into your account, you've made it how you wanted to make it and it's, it's yours, you've done that yourself. Buying bonds takes that all away immediately. Like it takes it all away immediately. One of the greatest parts of RuneScape is being able to set yourself a goal and then work towards that goal steadily until you've achieved it. And then once you've achieved that goal, holy hell does it give you such a rewarding feeling, a great sort of 
sense of accomplishment and it makes the whole time that you've invested into that feel absolutely worth it that's what sort of hooks you into this game and that is the sort of thing that keeps everyone playing over and over again at the moment i am working towards unlocking a staff of armadillo which for me is going to be like the absolute best in slot item or the absolute like best goal that i could go for at the moment as i did test it out on release and i absolutely loved it it made my game feel so much more fun to play and i am definitely 100 percent going to working towards getting one once i achieve that once i get that staff i am going to be absolutely buzzing it's going to be amazing i'm going to be going around everywhere testing it out even more trying to increase my personal record in places and having a hell of a lot of fun with it but if i go to the online store and buy myself like 200 pounds worth of bonds and then sell all those bonds off and get that staff of armadillo straight away that sense of accomplishment is going to just be gone that staff of armadillo is not going to feel as sort of important to me as it did if i'd gone and worked for it and earned it and got it myself and not only that you need to keep in mind we're playing a game to have fun and enjoy the game the road to actually unlocking that staff and going along my path and actually getting to it myself is a big part of the game if i buy that straight away i am losing hours and hours of stuff that i can be working on loads of hours where i'll enjoy the boss and that i'm doing the feeling of getting those big drops that push me up by quite a lot if i get a greater ricochet that is going to be a huge moment for me as i'm going to be like right i've just closed a massive 1.6 build gap from where i am now to where i need to be and it's going to be such a great feeling and that's that's what the hook to this game the whole sensation of getting a big massive drop or achieving something big if you buy that if you just literally go to the store buy loads of bonds and sell them off and get it instantly Trust me, that feeling is not going to be there. So many players I have seen and talked to, they've just bought loads of bonds, bought all of their gear, bought all of their progress, and they don't play today. The reason they don't play is because they don't have any sense of satisfaction from the game. They've got this account that is a max account that they've bought all the lamps for. They've got this account that has all this amazing gear, but they don't know how to use it because they've not actually put the time and invested into the game and figured out how the combat works. But they don't want to because there's no reason to. You would start normally as a low level player with a low level gear and you start off on lower bosses and you'd work your way up. And then once you want to unlock the next stuff, you would work on harder bosses, make some more money, grind out this, grind out that, and you'd upgrade your gear as you go along but not only that you will be learning the combat you'll be learning the bosses you'll be learning the game inside out and that is a massive sense of accomplishment once you do so so if you are considering buying bonds then just keep in mind that you are cutting out a lot of the game a lot of the game is making money a lot of the game is leveling up your account a lot of the game is gathering stuff working on gold working on the next big thing that you've set a goal for and honestly if you buy the gold straight away and just dump it straight into it and get that goal straight away it might feel great for 10 seconds it might feel great for five minutes it might feel great for an hour while you're at the bosses trying out the stuff that you've just got but once you've got everything in the game what is the point what are you aiming towards what are you working towards what is your actual goal now there is of course always going to be something you can go towards but you're cutting out a massive part of your game by buying loads of gold through bonds selling it off and then buying all the stuff that you could have spent months weeks even years working towards doing and some people may think working for it for years what the hell guys you may be in the wrong game because this is a game where you do work on stuff you work towards unlocking stuff you kill bosses you get the loot you get the gold and then you work towards it like that runescape is a game that is designed to be a marathon it is designed to make you work for stuff it is designed to make you put time in and get the rewards that you wanted to get from it and honestly that is one of the best things about the game as well now like i said if you are someone who doesn't want to do that you want to just buy all the bonds you want to just go ahead and buy all the gold and just get all the stuff that you want to do then like i said i am not against you doing that that is your decision i am not anyone who should be telling you what to do the goal of this video wasn't for me to say guys stop doing this because i don't like it and stop doing that it's basically just me here saying to you guys just keep in mind just consider it just have the thought about the fact that it will feel like that when you bought all the stuff you will get that feeling of what what do i do now what's the point and i just didn't want you guys to go ahead and do that and then quit the game afterwards as i said a massive part of this game is working on stuff unlocking stuff working on goals and getting your own money getting your own skills leveled up and getting that feeling of accomplishment the reward of getting a big massive drop at the end of a boss these things are what makes runescape great for me personally and for most people as well if you are someone who is exactly like this you play for those moments those moments of accomplishment whether it's in pvm whether it's in skilling whether it's finishing a quest let me know in the comments because i'd be interested i'm pretty sure most people are hooked in this game because of that very thing but anyway i hope this video has helped you decide whether you want to spend money on buying bonds whether you can afford it or not it doesn't really make much difference it's just keeping in mind 
that buying bonds and getting the instant money is cutting out a big part of the game and it doesn't just cut out the fact that you have to make money it cuts out the reward from getting the, the big drops that give you that money it cuts out the reward from knowing you've worked on everything yourself and it cuts out just a lot of sense of accomplishment which in all honesty in my opinion is the best part of the game now i know a lot of you guys are going to say oh you just rambled on about the same sort of thing forever like you just said this repeated the same thing over and over again that's just how i make my videos that's just how i'd like to discuss about stuff and that's how i like to make sure my point has got across and made sure i've explained stuff properly i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have do leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you are new if you have got this far let me know in the comments that you're still here you guys are absolute legends i'll reply to your comment probably saying legend as well if you are but honestly i really appreciate you guys watching this far anyway thank you all so so much for my channel members i really appreciate all your extra support it really does help out a hell of a lot if anyone else is interested in joining them there's a join button by the subscribe button give that a click you can see what perks you can get and you can also support the channel while you get those perks as well anyway guys thank you all so so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one see you later guys bye <laughs>